Alright, now look down there. See how there's water over the plate? That plastic. See, sure. see the red thing with the triangles and the holes? Yes. Yeah, okay, watch. If I add a little bit of this, ever so gently. Okay, see how the plate is underwater? Mm -hmm. The plate's supposed to be floating. <laughs> but, yeah. So it's bad? No, floating, floating means you're good. When they're not, that's how you know they're low. And charging boils the water off, so periodically you have to refill the water. Well, I got half an inch on top of the plate and it's still not floating. I'm not sure these are supposed to float. I'm guessing these plates don't float. <laughs> That's got a little over the plate. We'll have a little more. The lighting for this is phenomenal, by oh, the way. This is great. Yeah. I'm loving life. We need candles. Right. On this bank, if they're open, I've checked them. This is nothing. These are these are all really well. That one's drying a popcorn fart, but all the rest are pretty good. <laughs> there's a handful that are okay, and then there's a handful that I couldn't even see moisture. So I've had to do this and put 15 gallons into a battery before. Yeah, I think that was the worst one we ever did. And this actually is a battery, not like a double A. That is not a battery. That everybody calls batteries. How many people, you know, call them dry cells? We should at least just call it a cell. Only a 9 volts a battery. That is not true. Why? A 9 volts a battery? You've never seen a B. Yeah, but you said only okay. a 9 volts. Okay, I'm sorry. Battery. Of the standard A, double A, C, D. B. I've never seen a B. Obviously, you've never seen a B. <sighs> You're going to see the backhand of my hand. Only once. Ah, well, <laughs> first shot's yours. That's all I need. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to look really cute when I break you off the knees and teach you what it's like to suck my dick with no teeth. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, if you break me off at the knees, I'm still tall. the knees, you're still sexy. I'm tall. still taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that one's dry. My money's on Chris. Yeah. He's never seen the blog with, with Mikey and the... Uh, uh, shovel versus the Leatherman. Gerber, it was a Gerber back then. Did the Gerber win? What? Gerber <laughs> Mikey picked up a shovel once, a long time ago. This is back in Casey. Mikey picks up a shovel, and he's just, he's just fucking around. He's like, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm like, well, you got a shovel. I pulled out a Leatherman, or a Gerber, <laughs> just a little multi-tool. I was like, you got a shovel. I got a Gerber. I got ten bucks, you bleed first. He's like, all right. <laughs> Fuck, why not then? <laughs> did you put an eye out? I did not put an eye out, but I did take a chunk out of his arm. Just a little <laughs> tiny one. Just a little tiny one, but I was like, well, Just enough so now it's a thing. <laughs> There's honor at stake. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> I, I was wondering. It's more works. support. Well, maybe for the camera, but for me, I didn't mean to do a Th show. That would be I'm a question that Jesse would have to answer. <laughs> I'm not Jesse's sure. Not authorized to answer questions. Son of a. Bitch. Is that your lovely wife? It's something. Let me see. It is. She'll it's wait. Your lovely wife. She's used to me maybe hanging up on her. Drunk. Huh? No, she's sober today. Oh. Okay. at night and I'm like, hey, you're you're cool and all, but I've done my bit for King and Country today and I loved that I'd you really told like her to, to go, go to, to bed. To, yeah, I was like <laughs> Say goodnight, Diana. <laughs> She's going, how do I start the conversation? I was like, I, I think hi funny. is a typical greeting. I, I have to say more up. than that. What was what? Nothing. What was up? Nothing. The drawing. 
She's working oh, on drawing that. two robots. Yeah. But I haven't gone very far because of the cat, so... <laughs> <laughs> did, Chris distract, like the cat. did Chris distract you? He just... He did. He just came over and sat on my lap and, you know, what are you going to do? He's a helper. He's helping. You gotta put the cat. So, years ago, we had a, a place in Keizu that we used to go to for forklift stuff before we had Morrison as a sponsor. We had this place in, in Keizu. And I remember walking in there and a dude, like, they do stuff like solder the leads on the batteries and stuff. <laughs> so the safe and stuff. And there's a dude there who's got a blowtorch, like a permanently on blowtorch on a stand, <laughs> right? Just on a stand. Like, when he was done using it, he didn't turn it off. He just put it on a stand, and he'd do another thing and come back to it. And he's got a battery sitting there, just like this, you know, a battery this size, with all the tops open. And it's boiling like hell! And, and he's got a blowtorch. Not ten feet away, and I'm just like, I'm sure you've been doing it like that for twenty fucking years, and it's your job. So I'm just not gonna say anything. But there's no way in fuck I'm walking back into that room. So I. Just... Yeah, because Darwinism takes effect yeah, at yeah. some point. And I'm just like, nope, nope, nope. This, nope. That that is not how I'm going to die today. <laughs> Tomorrow. All right. So the power's out. So we can't charge it. We can't charge. Well. We can, but you're going to have to pedal like hell. <laughs> Hi there, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 1227 hours on Wednesday, April 27th, 2016. The power went out for our entire side of the street, so it's not us today, which is kind of nice. And what we have to do... <laughs> which is kind of nice. <laughs> we have to find a plug that fits this. And this is an SB350A... 600 volt. Okay, so we need a 350 amp plug. Okay, let's go. My safety glasses are right there. Don't turn it off. Why would you turn it off? Did I turn it off? You, you, you t doing the thing. I'm getting a Don't steady position. Are you in a steady position? I am Wait. now. I wasn't. Oh, yeah, that is the most, that is the pinnacle. Here, let's. You told me, arms in, hold the can. Son of a bitch. Yeah, but you. You give me the freaking instruction and then yell at me when I follow the instruction. Do you know how to snoop and poop? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. My knees don't work like that. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I just thought it was a stick up your butt. Oh, look, there's plenty of light down here. Oh, yeah. For an emergency egress, there's plenty of light down here. Well, in that sense, yeah, I was fine. All right, here, you're on camera. i got to get into the box with a flashlight. You do that. See, the cool thing is I don't need the lights on because I know where every single thing in the entire building is by memory. Uh-huh. So I can just... Because things never move around here. Things never move around here. It's in a box. And I so want to be holding the camera when you slam face first into something while saying that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Down in this area, I remember it was on a bottom shelf, is a box of big Amphenol connectors. Or Anderson Power Pole connectors. I think those are Anderson Power Poles at that, at that size still. The uh, YouTube yeah, YouTube's gonna let you know, but that won't be helpful. Should I go grab my heart now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. We're right here. Okay. Um, she wasn't offering it to you. <laughs> you can hit your head on stuff. I'm worried about the stuff more in your head. Fine. See, the problem is we got a lot of these in a variety of fruit flavors. I don't know if we have any that big. This is a 175, which is too damn small. This is. Nope. See, they got to be the right flavor, too, because even if they're the same current, if they're the different flavor, it won't work because they're keyed. And I don't think we have one that damn big. In fact, I am at this moment certain that we do not have one that damn big. So, we will improvise, adapt, and overcome. And overcome. That's, what we will do. That's right. All right. So, we need to find, we have the power supply. We just have to figure out how to hook it properly to the battery in a safe manner so and as not to blow the shit up. For our for our See that was, that's what did it! Right there. That's what did it. Did you see that? No. Did you see what I just did as I walked out the door instinctively without even thinking about it? You turned, I turned off. the light switches off, which tells me the light switches were on. And that, that, the fact that motherfuckers leave every light is goddamn. I'm broken. sorry. When I was down in there, there was a radio call. Everybody go to the alley right now, look for consumers. So I fucking ran. Did you leave the room? 
Yeah. Did you leave the lights on when you left the room? Yeah, in That's a why bolt. We, people use too much power, <laughs> and we trip the entire fucking like the whole community is without power because all these assholes can't remember to turn a light on. I'm blaming you specifically. It is your fault that this entire neighborhood is without power now. You know why it's my fault? Because VJ is not here to blame. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that well, Chris is going to get the hate mail anyway, I so I have been getting the best reports on him. Really? Yeah, him and TJ. TJ cannot drive worth a shit. This is the thing. I've been getting a lot of reports on TJ's driving. Or lack, lack thereof. His, his mojo on the crew for both of the J's, TJ and TJ, is exemplary. I've been getting radiant, glowing, awesome reports on the entire crew. Now, since you haven't explained for the blog yet, why are we using this power supply? Uh, because if you need a 30... Oh, shit. <laughs> and that is the moment where the shit hits the fan. Well, the power supply goes up to 60 amps. Okay. And can be constant current, which is really quite something. However, the power supply only goes up to 12 volts. What does that thing take? 36. So we need two more of those. Yes. Do we have two more of those? That could safely be chained, because you can't just chain any- I don't think you can safely chain a mill. However, there is another way. There is a possibility for doing this that could work. Could. I don't- I'm not smart enough in this instance here. Come on over to the other side. Do you have another car battery lying around? Okay, here's what we got. Here's what we got. We have a 36 volt battery of cells. But the individual cells only have to go to two and change. Because there's that many of them. The question I have is, is it safe for me to pop the cover off, because these are just plastic covers and I'm sure I can take them off safely. Is it safe for me to pop the cover off and charge just this cell? And then charge just this cell? And then charge just this cell. Can you charge a battery one at a time? Because is it going to freak out if this cell is fully charged and this cell is dead? Yeah, at that point, does like the, the load because leveling... There's, there's there's shit going on. Yeah. And I know that it's okay to charge them in series. <laughs> and this doesn't appear... Can I charge them individually while in situ without having to... This one doesn't appear to have any of the monitoring or, you know, current yeah, this leveling. Yeah, battery. This is a stupid, stupid battery. This is, this is just, it's a box of... So the thing is, the cells, the battery has no way of knowing if one cell is more charged than another, but that doesn't mean it won't be a problem either. Yeah, well, I'm not, I don't care if the battery knows or not, and the, the forklift certainly wouldn't know. And as long as we don't attempt to use the battery without them all being properly charged to the same level, it should be okay, but my concern lies in the fact that they're hardwired together and in simply having the next battery connected in the circuit, is it going to do things with unpredictable results? Very likely. Is bad things going to happen? And that's when the bleeding and the screaming and the running and the yelling all begins, and those traditionally tend to be times when I don't want to be in the building. Because you have sitting here give or take, round numbers, a ton of really impressive energy. <laughs> yeah. And, and while we play with high voltage on a day-to-day -day basis, and, and we play with lithium polymer batteries, which have a staggering energy density, if you had a ton of lithium polymers standing here, oh my God. I would not be standing here. <laughs> and, but... Because we don't want to turn the static energy into dynamic energy. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to go from electrical to kinetic energy. <laughs> yeah, there we go, that's what I was talking ends bad every time, and I don't know if we can do that safe, because if we can, then I can take that charger and a go up to the store and buy a pair of jumper cables for pennies, and put one on here and put one on here and crank it, okay, I want 2.1 volts and limit the amps, say, okay, well, this cell, if this battery is this big, the cell has to be this big and limit the current to something really, really nice and safe and happy, like five or 10 amps and just give her what for and let it go and not have to worry about overtemping the thing. Because that's our problem is that's too much charger for this battery, and it'll drive it to an overtemp condition, and it starts to gas and boil and stink, and it's just bad, which is why this thing isn't properly charged. We've got the right 
and we, we've got the right voltage, we don't have the right current. This thing wants to just shit can this thing at 150 amps and, and no, that's bad. We, we need to give it a nice, mellow happiness. And I could current limit it, it's simple DC, so I just put a fucking big resistor in the chain. But <laughs> yeah, cause... now I've got a boiling battery next to a searing resistor, and then the screaming, and the yelling, and the running, and the fire department comes, and hi guys, good to see you again. And uh, no. Again? Oh, we're, we're on the frequent flyer list for the fire department. They come here about once a year, and they're like, hey guys, how you doing? Oh, it's high voltage this week. Okay, cool. So you're, you're making their safety videos not so much as intentionally as coincidentally. <laughs> well, little of column A, little of column B, and yes, I'm using a lighter to flip these shut. That is totally safe. As long as you don't flip the, the flint, we're all right. Yeah. Well, even right now, this isn't giving Katie off... Katie has a brain. This isn't giving off any hydrogen sitting here. No, of course not. It can't. It's not charging. It's I not understand it's, it's, the principle. It's a cold, dead battery. This battery is Charlton Heston's hand. Two people got hey, that reference. can we take his guns now? Who? Heston's. Who? Charlton Heston. Who? Moses. Who? Oh, Moses. See, I got that one. Charlton what? Heston was the actor who played Moses. Yeah, okay. I know the name, but I was, I was missing the... Okay. Do you know what he did as a job after he was an actor? He was the president of the NRA. Oh, he's, he's famously, a friend. He's famously quoted as saying, you can take my guns when you take them from my gold dead hand. Oh, that's Heston? He's dead now. Well, yeah. Can we take his guns? Because he was older than dirt when he played Moses, uh, and that was not was, yesterday. He was actually Moses' age when he played Moses, and that was like in the 50s. Yeah, that was not so, yesterday, because it was a black and white film, if I recall. No, no, it was color. Was it color? Yeah, I think it was color. So that puts it, that po post dates at 64. Is that when they did the changeover? Was 1964? 64 is when RCA introduced color television at the World Trade Fair. Yeah, but when did they do color film? Oh, good point. Film this was movies. Film could have come out before that. I color television, I know, is I 64. Know you guys should comment and let us know. When, when did they come out with color for movies? Like, like as a normal, common, everyday thing. Not like, the first color movie was actually shot in Dusseldorf in 1802. No, no, like, when it was a thing. What year was that? And what year, was, when, what year did they invent color for the television? That was 64. That one that I know. Was, that that was RCA fair? at the World Trade Fair. Okay. World Fair. You heard me. Okay. The World Trade Center, World's Fair. Totally different things. Well, so they may have had... They did have a World's Fair in New York. I think it was... It was Queens. Park. It was Queens? Okay. Yeah. yeah that I only know that Park. from Men in Black. It was in Battery Park, wasn't it? I, they said Queens. Why else would we have it in Queens? Because of aliens oh, or something. Oh. There was a Men in Black thing. So they're still coo coo choo That was the Will Smith movie with Tommy yeah, Lee Jones. Yeah, 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 Tim Lee Jones. They're still choochin' on their generator, so... Yeah, well, we've got generators if we... Shit! We do need to get a generator going. For um, phones? Ice cream machine and, and refrigerator. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Should I just hook my truck up to the grid? Do you got an inverter in your truck? I wish. Okay, then let's go get the <laughs> generator out of the thing. The fire truck. Um, yeah, all right. Because there's, we'll be there's one in Grab the... Grab the generator out of the fire truck. Make sure it's gassed up. Where do I plug it in? Just up in the office? We're going to set it on the sidewalk out front. Chain it to the... We'll put it on the front stoop. We can't do our better. Eh? I don't know. Grab the generator. We'll figure it out. Right on the sidewalk. All right. We'll do it out of the handicap door, right? Well, first, let's make sure there's gas in the generator. One step at a time. See, the other side of Leonard has their own feed. I'd top off the gas tank for this, but we can't. Why is that? There's no power at the gas station. There's more than one gas station. Yeah, there's only one to go to. There's only, only one to the back. But anyway, uh, the other yeah, side of... Turn around, it's a lot easier. You can hold that behind you. The other side of Leonard has its own turn, grid. Go like this. Uh, yes. 
Single phase, he said, right? Yeah, we lost single and three phase. So, something that they can go out. And gas station is back on. So, we might have power. We might have power. Just check. Because <laughs> our signs lit up. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to go check. You go check. We'll be back. Alright guys, so it's 14.56 hours, the power's back on, the forklift is charging, and Beck is, doing research. is hard at work in the robot cage. <laughs> <laughs> so, from an engineering standpoint, it's not a good idea to anchor your hammock there in the middle of the run. It's totally okay to anchor it from the corner because you've got the fence that'll help. That, that, these aren't very strong in shear like that. I, I checked it first. That's way too far to run a line smoothly because what I'm doing here today, I actually am researching. Oh yeah, you're you're hard at work. Very hard hard at work. So I need as close to these clips as possible for what I'm testing out here. Okay. I'm just figuring out the optimal length of stretch that I want on these so that so you can see it adjusts a little when I get out of it. Once I get it where I like it, I'm going to set some loops into these so that this line, whenever I stretch it between two trees of any distance, these hooks will go the same distance each time. Okay. And this line will hold it the exact same distance out that I want. Okay. So this is legitimate research. The robot needs to be I'm totally cool with that. I think it's long term, However, long term, we will not be doing it. This the cage way. costs fifteen thousand dollars. Okay. And if you shear it off the floor, mm -hmm. there's going to be unpleasant. Yep. Short of that, I think this is a great idea. I it, okay, I trust you. I That's never done me wrong. So, I've got the battery going on the charger. Started at 180 amps, now we're breaking into 149. And, uh, let's see what it looks like in there. I'll just pop a cell. Maybe you guys can see it. So it's cooking. Now the trick is getting a full charge in the battery without overheating and boiling it all off. So I need to find out how long this can run without this overheating. You can already start to smell it. There's definitely a acidic odor coming off of it. Sulfury, acidy, nose biting, not a happy smell. But I'm just going to let it go see what happens. This is where it would be really handy to have some battery super genius. Sparky gave me some info, which was cool, but I want a guy who does this for a living. It would be really handy. We'll be back. <laughs>